it's your open source advocate and I wanted to do something special this week uh, with everything that's going on in the world and people now working remotely and trying to communicate remotely and trying to have better communication especially teams and teams trying to do software work that are used to working together in, a, in an office or in a whatever you happen to work in maybe you just go to somebody's house I don't know but you're trying to work remotely and use some of the tools that are out there I've had a few that have been fairly popular um, Jitsi Meet comes to mind right away for team collaboration and team meetings and things like that. So if you've got a webcam and a microphone and a decent internet connection, you can definitely use Jitsi Meet. So I've got their site up right here, and it's meet.jit.si. You can go here and just enter a name for the room that you want and create it. And as long as it's unique, it should just be created anyways. And then basically send that URL to all the people you want to join. Um, and you can use folders when you create these, so you don't even have to do it there. You can do it here through the uh, actual uh, top part. And uh, so you can just do this too. You can do uh, meet.jit.si slash, and then whatever your, your company's name is, right? Open source is awesome slash, and then you can put in a room name if you want. So my-dev-team. When I do this, it's going to start a Jitsi Meet room. And of course, first time it's going to pop up and ask, can it use the microphone? Can it use the camera? Yes, that's fine. Um, I've got the camera being used over here, but there's my room. So I'm the only one in this room, but I can now send out this link. I can grab phone numbers. I can do kind of anything that I would want to do to get this room going and get more people in the room. And this is all hosted for free by Jitsi um, for you to use. It's open source software, but they have angel investors who help pay for this so one thanks to them for doing that because it's really really amazing that they would do that for uh, anybody much less anybody in the world but if you want to run this on your own you can I've had some questions recently about how many people can this accommodate what kind of controls do you have in the room things like that so one way is to go out here just like I did just now create a room invite people to it get a whole bunch of people online and see how it goes I've used meet.jit.si for stuff in within my own within the company I work for and we've had more than 35 people on a single call, uh, sharing screens, doing video, things like that, with great success. Now, there's times where, where Jitsi, I'm sure their servers get buried and overloaded. So um, if you're always looking for like a very consistent ability to do that at any time of day or night, you might want to run your own server. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to go out to DigitalOcean today. I'm going to set up a server. And I'll do this about 7 p.m. Central Time U.S., so adjust for your um, time zones. And then at 7.30, after that server's up and running, hopefully 7.30, Central Time, I will go into that, into that server and create a room. You can go to that server and create a room. So here's what I'm going to do. The URL is going to be meet.opensourceisawesome.com. So meet.opensourceisawesome.com. That's to get to the main page. If you want to create a room inside of there, just tack something onto it for the room name. That should be fine. Um, but we'll go to meet.opensourceisawesome.com, and then I'll create a room called OSIA. So meet.opensourceisawesome.com slash OSIA. And I'll be in there. So if you want to come in and chat, if you want to come in and just see what's going on, if you want to have a bunch of your people try to log onto the server and see how it goes, do that. Create some extra rooms. Have other people join you in your rooms. That's fine, too. Um, but that'll give you an idea of what it'll run. And I'll start this on a DigitalOcean. I'll do it on a $15 level server. And we'll see how it does. If it crashes all to hell, then you'll know that's not big enough. You might need something bigger. Um, if it does well, then you'll know maybe that's enough and your team can meet. If you have a small team, it should be plenty. Um, you know, five, six, ten people on that server for $15 should be more than enough server to handle that. Now, if you're going to have 200, 300, 4,000, probably not going to do it. But we can find out. So... That's my offer to you guys is uh, today, April 1st, I will set up the server and let's actually make it tomorrow, April 2nd. We'll also do a little test around 7, 730 and see how many people can get in the server. That gives you time to see the video and get out there and see what you want to do with it. Um, I'll leave the server up. So if you want to jump on and just create some rooms and see how it works, that's fine. But I'm going to say I will destroy that server on April 3rd. So April 3rd, I'm going to destroy that server uh, Central Time about 7 p.m. Uh, 7 p.m. Central Time, April 3rd, I'm going to destroy that server. So don't depend on that server for your meetings, things like that. If you want to do that, get out there, create your own server, or use the meet.jit.si server. All right, thanks. Talk to you next time.